So number one then for the three marks here, just a little differentiation. But strange in that in this case, well, like you've seen the exams, it says show this result for something as straightforward as this. Because with the three marks, the first mark's obviously going to be knowing to use the quotient rule. That's indicated here, and there's a wee reminder. Look, you square the denominator. Look. So there's three marks. There won't be a mark just for writing that down, obviously. So the first mark would normally be knowing to use the quotient rule. Then you'd think the next mark would be for carry out the quotient rule, the pattern for the quotient rule. Then the third mark would be tied it up into the answer, but the answer's there already. And then what they've put down is, first mark, knowing to use the quotient rule. Well, there it's there. Look. Square the denominator, in case you'd forgotten. It tells you, and start to use the quotient rule for the first marks. That probably means just do one of the differentiations. And a pattern, of course, is like the product rule, in that they take their turns. But one was underneath, so it had a negative power. So when you multiply that power, you're going to have a subtract. Anyway, so it's differentiate this one. Well, that'll just be one times leave the other one alone. And doing that is the first mark. Don't use the quotient rule and start it off. Now it's just a case of finish it off then. So leave that one alone, x minus one, and differentiate the other one, which will be two x. And straight away, there's the second mark for finishing off the quotient rule. Now it's just a case of tidying this up into that. Now you can't just write that down straight away, obviously, because it's stated. So the next mark will be just for simplifying the top there, removing the brackets. 1 plus x squared squared. So that's just going to be 1 plus x squared minus 2x squared, but plus 2x. There's the third mark, because you can't get the fourth mark for finally tidying into this, as that was stated already. But you should still be neat and just write it down anyway. 1 plus the 2x, one of them, take away two of them, minus an x squared over the square of the original denominator. And there you go.